Kentucky You are the dearest land outside of heaven to me Norm Kessling, the Kentucky Derby edition of Spinning Out of the Turn. The big race is a mere three days away. The field has been entered, the post position's drawn, and we're all trying to figure out who's really going to win. The best way to do that? Go through the list and eliminate. You got to cut down from 20. So without much fanfare, my cuts immediately were number one, Frisian Fire, Free Drop Billy number two, Promises Fulfilled 3, these are all out. Lone Sailor 8, My Boy Jack 10, uh, Entice 12. At one time I really liked him, but he's out. Bravazo, Instilled Regard, the uh, 15. Solomini and Noble Indy. I don't see any of them coming in the top three, four, five, what have you. It comes down to that the favorites look all legitimate, and very difficult to beat. But as we all know, that's why we have the horse race. Anything can happen. But sitting here today, I think we're gonna see Justify, a deserving favorite. Mendelssohn, we're not quite sure what he is, but it certainly looks to be spectacular. Bolt Doro, who's kind of flying under the radar, and I would not uh, be a bit surprised if he would run well and win. And the fourth horse up at the top is Audible. Uh, Florida Derby winner has done nothing wrong. There's no reason to put him behind any of these. So those four start, uh, start at the top of the pack. I'll pick Justify, but I'm not going to bet Justify because the odds are going to be poor. Mendelssohn, a lot to overcome. We've heard it all. He doesn't. He's never run against 20 horses. He has shipped before to the U.S., so that shouldn't be a problem. I'm relying more on him for his breeding, his relation is uh, half, half to uh, Beholder and into Mischief, uh, those very good horses. If anything pulls him through, I think that's going to be it. And his jockey, Ryan Moore, is one of the best in the, in the, in the world. So he has a lot going for him. I think he's going to show well, uh, but it'll be hard to win, but he's not 
certainly not beyond his scope of abilities. But from a betting standpoint, there's three that I would look at. And, and, and primarily because you're equating their odds for value and their skills, what they can do. And the three horses that come together to have the most likely favorable odds to bet on and have the ingredients, if you will, or the class or the experience or the talent to win are these three. And that would be the horse I mentioned before, Bolt Doro. He could be 10 to 1, which is incredible. If he The other two that I would put in that same group are Hofberg, the Bill Mott trained horse. He's only run three times, but he looked very good down in Florida. He's improving. There's no question he can get the distance. His morning lights out are 20 to 1. He could be anywhere from 15 to 30. Sadly, probably closer to 15, but even at that, he's certainly worth a bet. And the other horse I put in there, Good Magic, who was the champion last year, he had a race or two that weren't so good, but he's coming to form. His workouts are good. He looks good. Chad Brown knows how to get a horse ready. With all the other of, that I mentioned before favorites, uh, Good Magic could go off at 8, 9, or 10 to 1, which again is a tremendous uh, return of value for that horse. So if you're looking for bets, Bolt Doro, Good Magic, Hofberg, likely winner, Justify. But in any event, it's an annual, it's a one-time thing, uh, one-time race. So it's uh, exciting regardless of who wins. As Dan Fogelberg said, it's the chance of a lifetime and a lifetime of chance. It's, uh, you can't beat Kentucky Derby Day. And even if you're not a horse racing fan, tune in to NBC around 6.40 Eastern time. Don't have to watch any of the show. Just watch the race. It's the horse that matters, not all the people they're talking to. And uh, enjoy the greatest two minutes of sports.